stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. We are going to be hearing about stocks in uh, two of the most diverse industries that you could imagine in a program like this. Courtesy of the Bryans, Bolin and Hamilton. You're going to be talking about two uh, very diverse industries. We're going to start with you, the downer industry, <laughs> the funeral industry. That's not a downer industry. Well, I mean, it can be. It can be for, for one part. Right. One part of the... Uh, Depends on your perspective. Right. right. But since you Pushing populate... The daisies, the, looking since, at them as roses, you know. Since you populate a very dark world, it's <laughs> for you to be normal. I'm the king of the darkness there, yes, Terry. <laughs> you know, uh, Service Corp is my stock, and yes, it is funerals and, you know, cremations, things like that, and mm -hmm. just that industry, the death industry. And, you know, you, I hate to say it, but uh, the baby boomer population here is getting older, so, you know, what is going to happen? They are going to start dying off. Well, it's a recession-proof industry. It is a recession-proof I mean, the people are always dying, right? And I think this year, probably more than others, we've seen a lot of celebrity deaths, right? Couple, two, three, yeah. Yeah, who, who died uh, recently for you that uh, you oh, well, remember? Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Corey Ali. Howe, you know, a bunch Gordy of sports Howe, legends, you know. Sports legends, right? Uh, okay. Prince, so, Glenn Fry. Now that we've played Guess Who Died. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've played Guess Who's Dead, uh, we can play uh, what, What's Going On With The Stock Here. It's a Zach's rank number two, uh, so that's a buy. Uh, it has a B value score. Normally, I'm not into uh, into the values, uh, but uh, this stock is is a great play here for a couple reasons. I'll get into that later. Growth is a C. 21 times forward, you know, is tough for me to call that a value. But uh, the idea of what I like here uh, is that it is a slow and steady performer. Um, you know, if we if we take a look here, I, I pulled this chart up here um, of expected net sales. Uh, net income and profitability rate and we can see over the next coming years here we've got a great you know increase in profitability rate and that's going to drive earnings higher uh, that's just going to be great for the stock so uh, you know something that we've seen has uh, has beaten uh, three of the last four uh, earnings releases here so uh, the stock isn't really uh, that volatile but recently we've had a nice pullback and that's why I like it for this week uh, buy this stock on the dip because uh, when you buy this one on the dip, you're, you're likely to uh, to turn out pretty good. So what happens when the covering analysts who follow the stock die? <laughs> uh, they pass on, they, they bequeath passage uh, oh. or the coverage to someone else. Okay, I, just curious. <laughs> Brian Hamilton, uh, on a more positive note, <laughs> yes. uh, telecom infrastructure is your company's industry. Right. The demand for high-speed internet is going through the roof, and telecommunication companies are spending billions on improving their infrastructure. But it's not like an AT&T guy is going to come out and dig a ditch right next to your house and start laying you know, fiber optics to it. They contract that out. And the company that's winning all these contracts is DICOM Industries. Okay. They boost a boast of clients of Comcast, Google, AT&T, CenturyLink. And it's not like, you know, DICOM just builds the infrastructure and walks away. Mm -hmm. They offer also product management and maintenance, which is a huge boost for their bottom line because they're seeing 50, almost 50% 50 organic growth with just their top five companies alone. And because they're winning all these big contracts, the company has seen 35% year-over-year gain in contract revenues, telecommunication revenues, and electrical utilities. Also, because of the contract wins, they saw a 21% increase in gross profits. This has caused analysts to increase their uh, estimates. And as you can see from the analyst revisions page here, we have 100% unanimous agreement all across the board for the next two quarters, for the remainder of 2016, and for 2017. Also, if you look now at their price and consensus graph, this is exactly what you want to see. Everything moving up, estimates moving up uh, across the board. One thing you also have to remember is we are in the beginning stages of this infrastructure uh, build out. So this is expected to last all the way through 2017. So we have a long-term solid growth stock who is currently at Zach's rank number one buy. Okay, do either of you own either of these stocks? No, I do not. Right? I do Any not. preparation for the future? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. Don't forget, more stock information on our website, zax.com. Get on over and link to it all right off the home page. With the Bryans, I'm Terry Ruffalo.